Well, summertime is the traditional season for Hollywood blockbusters, movies of action and adventure. And Jim Duffy, author of Secrets of the Eastern Shore, thinks he has got the makings of a Hollywood blockbuster in a homegrown story that happened right here on the Delmarva Peninsula 400 years ago. He is with us this afternoon with the tale to tell. Jim's good to see you. Good afternoon. Thank you for Katie, joining how are you? Us. I'm great. How are you? All good. Yeah, you no look complaints. great. You know, no fired complaints. up to have you. So, I got to ask you. All right. About Thomas Savage. Yes. So he's 13 years old. All right. We don't know what town in England he grew up in. Okay. We don't know why his parents or guardians put him on a ship. But in 1608, he landed at Jamestown, Virginia. Okay. All right? 1607 was the first group of people. He's in the second group of people. Everything's still new. Everything's still new. And it's a disaster. There were 150 people on the first ship. 100 of them are dead. Starvation, disease, what? Indian attacks. Right. 100. So he walks down this gangplank into this complete disaster. All right? They put him to work, as you might imagine, because they don't have enough people left and everything like that. He ends up with the famous Captain John Smith going on an uh, expedition to meet the most famous of the Indian chiefs, Powhatan. Okay, right, right yeah. He cuts a deal with the Indians that says, I'm going to take one of your kids. Here, have one of my kids. <gasps> Trade. And he leaves them. Just no. leaves them. So he's like probably the very first colonists to ever live with the Indians, because this is the very first, you know, settlement that stuck in Jamestown. So he leaves him there. So he leaves him there, and things went reasonably well. At one point, Powhatan sent him to negotiate a prisoner release, and he failed to do that. Oh. And Powhatan threw him out into the forest, just banished him from the village. Poor Thomas is not having any luck here. Yeah. <laughs> no. But Powhatan decided he had second thoughts, and so he sent out his people to go get Thomas and bring him back. And I'm always thinking, like the movie, like, well, these people are coming to get Thomas, <laughs> right. and he doesn't even know they're coming to get him to bring him back. He right. might think they're coming to, to get know, him. To get him yeah. and everything else. And so all these scenes of this 13-year-old boy learning this new culture and this mm -hmm. new language and everything else. He was there for two years. And in 1610, a war broke out between the Indians and the settlers at Jamestown. And he told Powhatan a, a little white lie about how he had to go somewhere or do something, and ended up skedaddling back to Jamestown. And he did this just in time. Powhatan was actually about to win the war, but new ships came into Jamestown with new soldiers and new supplies. And so he picked the winning side in that war and ended up back at Jamestown. Well, what does that have to do with Delmarva? We're getting there. Oh. So he builds a new life for himself, right? One of the things he does is he works as a translator. People hire him to do translating. So in 1621, 400 years ago exactly, he comes across the bay and ends up near Eastville, Virginia, translating in a, a trading mission. Okay. All right? There's a king there, uh, Indian king there, impossible to pronounce name. Eshmi <laughs> Sissions sell seashells by the <laughs> seashore, right? I Nailed apologize it. for all of that. These two got along so famously. His nickname was the Laughing King, which again, you start thinking about that movie. What does the Laughing King look like? How does he behave? You are seeing all this, aren't they you? They get along famously, and the Laughing King gives him like 400 acres of land, which is now near Eastville. If you drive down Savage Neck Road, Savage, okay. Thomas right. Savage, okay. Savage Neck Road, you're in the land where he used to live. And the Savage family is the oldest continuously trackable family mm -hmm. in America. So many people are like, that's my great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, and it just happened over and over again. And, and family members were emailing me about going down there and everything like that. What yeah. happened to Thomas? He died young, about oh. the age of 40. He had kids. Yeah. And that bloodline is still on the eastern shore of Virginia today. That is so cool. That's a good movie trailer right there. Yeah. I cannot wait We've to see it. We've got the trailer going this. on. Yes. We still have time to develop the title, yep, the cast, right. everything yep. like that. Yep. This is just exactly. <laughs> <laughs> East, uh, uh, Mysteries of the Eastern, Secrets of the Eastern Shore, author Jim Duffy. What will we do without you? Thanks. You are the man, the myth, yeah. and the legend.